think twice before messing with these ladies. Roman killed her. Not you. Her death was his fault. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 lead female sci-fi and fantasy TV characters. There's a lot more to me than there is to your glorified wind-up toys. For this list, we're taking a look at the strongest and most endearing women from sci-fi and fantasy television shows. You half with a toady to a third-rate god, come and get me! Ah! Oh, yeah, come on. <laughs> We'll only be including leading characters, so supporting characters, animated characters, or members of an ensemble such as Daenerys Targaryen are excluded. Reject this gift, and I shall show you no mercy. Number 10, Diana Prince slash Wonder Woman. You must tell me the truth. Long before DC's shared cinematic universe existed, Wonder Woman used her lasso of truth and invisible jet to bring about justice on the small screen. Who is it that you're after? And whose body is he inhabiting? The series was without a doubt one of the most popular superhero shows of the era, and far ahead of its time. They are cruel, inhuman, and barbaric. But they are predictable. In a time when women were typically displayed as housewives or eye candy, Wonder Woman became a powerful symbol of feminism. Well done, sisters! Linda Carter's portrayal remains synonymous with the character to this day, and for good reason, as she conveyed Wonder Woman with a sense of bravery, justice, and femininity. Call it intuition. Number 9, Sarah Manning, Orphan Black. Oh, something really weird just happened at the train station. What? I saw a girl kill herself. After witnessing the suicide of a woman who looks exactly like her, hustler Sarah Manning decides to take over that woman's life, living as police detective Beth Childs. Sarah. It's Beth. Eventually, Sarah uncovers a conspiracy, discovering that both she and Childs are clones. You just broke the first rule of Clone Club. What? Never tell anyone about Clone Club. Sarah finds more clones and the shady corporation that created them as an eugenic experiment, all while being pursued by an organization that considers clones abominations and seeks to kill them one by one. To extreme creationist types, we would be abominations, like not God's children, but, but Satan's. Ultimately, as both a clone and a con artist, Sarah must confront many questions about personal identity, nature versus nurture, and free will. I have like no clue who you really are, do I? I wish I could tell you. Number eight, Xena. Xena, warrior princess. Let these men go. While she first appeared as a villain on Hercules, looks can be very deceiving. Xena turned heroic and became a breakout star, quickly getting her own spin-off, which dwarfed the popularity of its predecessor. Xena seeks to atone for her dark past by helping people and fighting monsters. Isn't this what you wanted? To face me on Earth and let me panic for all I've done to you? While she may have switched to the bright side, that doesn't make Xena any less of a badass warrior, with her iconic chakram and signature battle cry. <laughs> Xena travels the world from Greece to India to Japan in her quest for redemption, along with her sidekick Gabrielle, becoming an important figure in the LGBT community. How am I supposed to go on without you? I'll always be with you, Gabrielle. Number 7, Suki Stackhouse. True Blood. Oh my god! I think Little Lutz just got his first vampire! An outsider because of her telepathic abilities, Suki is naturally drawn to the mysterious and often dangerous vampires. After a whirlwind romance with vampire Bill Compton, Suki finds herself in a world of danger, but isn't afraid to back down from a fight. And she definitely doesn't take any crap from the undead. You big lying a-hole! Suki is brave and defiant in the face of death proving her skills in combat against the likes of vampires, werewolves, monsters from ancient Greece, and religious zealots. No one has to die! The war has begun, you evil whore of Satan! Despite consistently seeing horrific and dark events, Suki never loses her compassion and the goodness within herself. I'm staying away from vampires, I can guarantee you that! Number 6, Alison Dubois. Medium. I'm a mess, can't you tell? Although the character was initially inspired by accounts from the real person of the same name, the fictional character of Alison Dubois took on a life of her own. I'm sorry, I've forgotten your name. I know it begins with an A. Alison, Alison Dubois. As the name of the show implies, Dubois' abilities include speaking to the deceased, 
as well as prophetic visions. Allison uses her unique abilities to assist the Phoenix DA. I can't put this out. Where would I say it came from? An anonymous eyewitness. However, these visions are often cryptic and are not always what they initially appeared to be. The fact that you're seeing him and I'm not means... Do you think you could get the police to let me across the barricade, let me up there? Allison was a true Renaissance woman, balancing her job, raising three children, and dealing with the many skeptics that surround her, all while dealing with her often nightmarish visions. Bad dream. Nightmare. Number five, Claire Fraser, Outlander. I'm a nurse. Not a wet nurse. The titular outlander of the series, Claire is thrown back in time from 1945 to 1743, where she finds herself caught up in a war between Scottish Highlanders and British Redcoats. Perhaps I had stumbled onto the set of a cinema company filming a costume drama of some sort. Already ahead of her time in the 1940s, she was even more unique 200 years prior. I would seem to have fallen through time. Her outspoken attitude, bravery, and sense of personal freedom can get her into trouble, but also manages to help her out at various times. Why are you doing this? You know why! To find out exactly what happened in that room between you and Randall. What you're holding back. Along with her medical skills acquired as a nurse in World War II and knowledge of future events, Claire proves she's a force to be reckoned with. We shall never find another healer the likes of you. Thank you, Willie. Really. Number four, Captain Catherine Janeway, Star Trek Voyager. Gentlemen, welcome aboard Voyager. Captain Janeway faces a test unlike anything that Kirk or Picard ever came across when her ship gets stranded 70,000 light years from Earth at the beginning of this awesome series. I don't know what you need and frankly, I don't care. I just want our people back and I want us all to be sent home. In accordance with Gene Roddenberry's dream of an equal future, Jane Way was the first female captain who was a lead character on a Star Trek series and was just as capable, if not more, than the boys. I'd say we've got an unexpected guest. Venturing further into the unknown than any other officer, Janeway consistently shows incredible heroism and leadership while protecting her crew, discovering new worlds and leading her people home. Set a course. For home. Number three, Jessica Jones, Jessica Jones. Jessica, did Miss Hogarth ask you to stop by? Yep. With superhuman strength, Jessica is one of the toughest characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That guy's head, I tore it off with my bare hands. By airing on Netflix, this show is able to delve into much darker territory than most Marvel fare and presents us with an emotionally damaged and complex protagonist. Not only did you physically rape me, but you violated every cell in my body and every thought in my goddamn head. After managing to break the hold of a mind-controlling sociopath who abused her and used her powers for horrific ends, Jessica deals with her post-traumatic stress disorder and trust issues. I'll be having a liquid dinner. Despite her evident struggles, this acclaimed heroine opens her own private investigation agency to help those in need. And kicks ass while doing it. The right people are gonna pay for what's been done. Number two, Dana Scully, The X-Files. Agent Mulder, I'm Dana Scully. I've been assigned to work with you. As a brilliant medical doctor and one of the FBI's most talented special agents, there is a lot to respect about Agent Scully. Mulder, if we don't kill it now, we run the risk of becoming Richter and Campbell with guns to our heads. While her partner Mulder was quick to believe any conspiracy or crazy story, Scully took a much more logical approach, ever the skeptic and looking for reasonable scientific solutions. You're saying that, that time disappeared. Time can't just disappear. It's, it's a universal invariant. Scully's emotional toughness comes through consistently as she faces massive personal tragedy, from dealing with everything from being abducted by aliens to being diagnosed with terminal cancer. People live with cancer. They carry on. And so will I. Despite all of this, Scully always comes out the other side, ready for the next mission. In time, we'll catch him. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Some guys just can't take no for an answer. Morgan, what's the photo? Oh, I can't blame her. Have you seen it? You might want to ease up or that Brillo pad's going to press charges. Dishes were just piling up. Does that have anything to do with David stopping by? Yeah. If money's the motive, you might want to take another look at Stan. Cher said that he was trying to franchise the Daily Grind. 
He lined up millions in financing, which fell apart when Positivity stole his shop's thunder. I can't think of anything but Halloween these days. What's that about? I know. I have no life. And then there's the whole witch thing. You know, after all these years of rebellion, I'm finally ready to embrace the truth. There were other ways of handling this. Handling what? Me. You do realize that we're going to be married someday, don't you? Believe me, I know. I know you had a life before I got here. It's not about that. Don't you think that we owe it to each other? Number one, Buffy Summers. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I want this moment to last. Well, I don't. A direct subversion of the typical blonde high school girl in horror, Buffy defends the world from all forms of evil. You have fruit punch mouth. What? As the Slayer, Buffy is the chosen one with the strength and skill to fight demons, vampires, and all other kinds of creatures, balancing her time between hunting down monsters and being a student. Everything we need to know for the final. I'd hate to have missed that. Just tell me I didn't snort. However, Buffy became a cultural icon not only for battling evil, but also for her quick wit, ability to overcome obstacles, and fierce determination. <laughs> After all, who else could make defeating Dracula look so easy? I fought more than a couple pimply, overweight vamps that call themselves Lestat. Do you agree with our list? I wouldn't touch it. Who's your favorite female character from a sci-fi or fantasy series? For more kick-ass top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo.